A half a length over the favourite, Powercraft. Pike has him there, ready to pounce. Right behind them, I'm a love man. Boutique about to pull out three wide and at least get going. Over on the inside behind them, persistence time. Hard ridden coming into the corner. Dude man, bro, around it. No place to hide. Pike makes his move now. He's about to pounce on them and Powercraft hit the front. At the top of the straight, Powercraft kicked a length and a half free. Flip clear. Down the outside, Boutique and further back is no place to hide. Putting in a big run and so is Musical Art coming from last. Boutique's in the middle. The favourite's gone. No place to hide at Musical Art. It's the one. Musical Art, no place to hide. Musical Art does better. Gets up in the last stride from last. Musical Art gunned them down and has won from no place to hide. Dude Man Bro came again. A battling run from Boutique. In behind those near the rail. Next of all was I'm a Love Man. And they were followed by Out of Line. Followed further back. Salvage. Persistence time. Powercraft gave up and did nothing in the run to the line. Come on, Journey was well off them, and just in front of those will be Jaffinator. Musical art number five, the winner. Ridden by Clint Johnston Porter. Swooping from last. Going by the 700. No place to hide was back there with it as well, and dude man, bro, had to do it the tradesman's way. Three deep. All of the journey. Battle back to grab third from either Boutique or I'm a Love Man. All honours with musical art, though. The excellent art gilding, trained by Brock Luthwaite. And has powered home from back there. Last, had to get around them wide to go up and join No Place to Hide. And finished on very well indeed at 4.31.70. No Place to Hide, 2.40. Do Man Bro, 1.90. And Powercraft, well, he didn't fire a shot. It dropped out in the last 200 metres and was well beaten after hitting the front round the corner. Musical Arts owned by Alan and Beer at McAllister. K. Wardle, C. McAllister, trained by Brock Luthwaite. Clint Johnston, Porter aboard the winner. No place to hide, second by New Approach from Catrenza. Trained by Gary McPherson, ridden by Lee Newman. It pays 2.40 and Dude Man Bro is by Blackfriars from Miss Unikowski. For Justin and Carol Warwick and Ross Waddell, trained by Justin Warwick, written by Chris Parnham, a dollar ninety for the place. So the time is two nineteen seventy seven. The Devils Lair handicaps race five at two forty eight. Eleven ominous warning is the scratching. Uh, the G man is there. Gareth Hawley joins us now, and he's with uh, winning trainer Brock Luthwaite after that. Very, very good. Last to first finishing burst by Musical Art. Musical Art's been knocking on the door, Brock, and that was a good performance. Ricocheted off that bend here at Ascot today and blew them away. Yeah, that's right, sir. That was a very strong performance. Uh, it's been a long prep. He's had a lot of seconds. have been a punter's worst friend, but uh, you can't call uh, consistency a negative. So. No, there's no doubt about that. Were you confident today there was late money on track? I felt he was back in class, and uh, you can see it. I didn't expect the late money earlier. I thought he'd keep going out, but uh, we took the divvy we got, and we're very happy. So you've had a little bit of something on it. Were you confident in the run? No, not at all. Uh, when he came down the outside, I thought, that's the horse I know, and that's the horse I've been missing for the last two runs, so really excited. What's been the difference? Did you see any signs during the week that maybe musical art would turn the corner today? Yeah, he loves the beach, and he's really bounced the last uh, week or so, and the Feebans really told me that, and I galloped him a day further away from the race, just to... Keep him fresh, and I knew the drop in class, he'd relish it and really pleased. You've rejuven uh, rejuvenated him a little bit, you could say, already this prep. Does he go on now? Has he done enough after this victory? I'll have to speak to the owners. Uh, they've got a lot of horses in work, and the paddocks are pretty full at the moment, so I'll have to ask him. I mean, I'll do one more, uh, otherwise, I'd love to give him a rest. Well, well done, mate. Thank you, Mr. Hall. There we go. There's Brock Luthwaite, the preparer of musical art to take out. The fourth event here. That was a good performance by that galloper, Maddie and Clinton Johnston Porter. The hyphenate is about to join you after he jumps off, jumps on the scales, weighs in, and then he'll be ready to have a chat to Maddie Kelly. Bit in common, these two boys. Brock Luthwaite, one of the real up-and-comers in the training ranks here in Perth. He's going to be taking Perth racing by storm in the next couple of years, as is Clint Johnston Porter. That was a nice performance. Rate that run for us. Yeah, no, he's a nice horse. He's just been a bit unlucky and. Um he just had a bit of a break in between runs this time and uh, he's come through it well. You've been on him before, you go around to the gates today, you got a feeling that he was going to put in something like that? Um, no, he, he's very, he's a bit like a robot, he just does the same thing every start. Um, though this time in running he just come underneath me, his last two or three runs he's been over racing quite bad so um, knowing that I had had him relaxed, um, I thought I was going to be right in it. 
nice to get a winner on Melbourne Cup Day. Yeah, it definitely is. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, Clint Johnston Porter, another beautiful ride aboard the five musical art. Thought it was a really good performance from the seven, no place to hide. Was an impressive maiden winner last start and went on with it again here today to finish second. And the two dude man bro was also gallant in defeat. No excuses really for Powercraft. Did sit a little wide early in the run, but had every was given every chance by William Pike and, and cornered a lot better, but just couldn't find in the home straight, Gareth. Yeah, it'll be banned now. Um, Powercraft that's had enough chances. Five, seven, two musical art wins the fourth on Melbourne Cup Day here at Ascot. Great to see so many people here. We'll be back before race number five. Judge has just declared...